All right, everyone, welcome to my tutorial on setting sun direction, sun height, sun and shadow effects, and grass settings. I literally just did this video about five minutes ago and then was about to post it and realized that I was recording the wrong screen. So this is my second time doing this. So hopefully this goes smoothly and well, yeah, we'll just go from there. Okay, so for sun settings, we're gonna come down to our tabs here. I'm gonna go over to weather. And here we can adjust the sun height as well as the sun direction. So sun direction is just gonna go northeast, southwest, everything in between, and just kind of toggling where you're wanting that sun to be shining. It just changes the type of day and just makes it brighter, all that jazz. So sun height is going to be changing it from like sunrise to sunset and everything in between. So we've got midnight probably right there. So that's gonna be super dark, but it's kind of fun because you see that landscape lighting and interior lighting that Rue was talking about yesterday. And then we can come here, we can make a really cool sunset as well. If I can get it, maybe. Let's try the sun direction a little bit differently. Okay. Maybe if we have it coming, I can't remember which way I did it just barely, but let's just swivel this around and let's watch this sunset or sunrise. So there you can see the sun right there, that small little circle. It adds a lot of interest, a lot of color to your different renderings and just makes it really exciting because it makes it like real life and just being able to see your design um, at any time of the day. So over here, we can adjust the sun brightness. It's making those rays really intense and also not as intense. You can also do the cloud amount. And I found that this is really fun for sunrises and sunsets because it reflects that color onto the clouds, onto the water or whatever you have going on. Um, so that's a really fun feature to just kind of add a little bit more interest with the sun. So let's see if I make this a little bit darker. <clears throat> you can just see those colors really pop. And then coming over to our house over here, really fun feature right there. Awesome, okay, so now we're gonna come over to the movie toggle. We can also do a photo. Go and go to the movie one. So this is a really cool thing because when you're creating your videos, you wanna add some more interest with depending on the weather and the surroundings and the light, the natural lighting of the sun. So up here, it's got sky and clouds right there and then sun. So we're gonna click on sun. We've got the same different settings. So sun height, sun heading, sun brightness and sun disc size. So if I bring this over here, you can change the sun height like in the last one that we did, changing how intense it is, how high it is in the sky, um, what time of day it would be. You can also do sun brightness, so the intensity right there, and sun disk size, and you're not able to see, I'm not sure how to swivel this around, but the sun disk size is how big the sun is. So I find this one kind of funny because it's like, who wants a massive sun in the sky? That's obviously not realistic, but if you want a huge sun, that's the way to go. So you can do that there, make it super small. Um, you can also just put on the next keyframe. You say, okay, the sun heading, I just wanna switch it over to the next keyframe. That's just gonna push it on over there and then you can change the rest of them as well. So I'm gonna bring this back and you'll be able to see the different sun settings that will happen in this video. So you can see it's kind of going into desk there and then into nighttime. So there is that. All right, now we're gonna head over to grass settings. They're very simple. Um, and just add, add a little bit more to your toolbox. So I wanna make this a little bit sunnier so we're able to see that grass better. All right, and then I'm gonna come in here and zoom in on this grass. I will be honest, I can't maneuver it. Oh, yep, yeah, obviously. I'm really bad at maneuvering this so far. Always wanna zoom in there on that grass. Not that way. Come on. All right. Still not there. We're almost there. All right. Let's go next to this little flower over here. There she is. Okay, cool. So right now you can see that this grass 
has been set to where it looks very taken care of, very healthy. So we're gonna come into the landscape tab right here next to the weather tab. So what you can do is if you just want your grass to be done completely and do nothing to it and just kind of leave it a little bit wild looking, you can turn off the grass settings right here with this big power switch. Now you can see that's kind of looking like weeds, but if you're wanting something that kind of look, that's the way to go, super simple. Now, if you're wanting to make more of a manicured lawn, you're gonna come over here to the grass size and you can change how long that's gonna be. Obviously they need to mow really bad on this one, okay? I wish mowing was this easy. You could just boop, make it go smaller, but that's why we got Lumion to make it look really realistic and not have to do anything to it. All right, we also have grass height right here. You can change that, you can see how dense it looks. And then I like this one, grass wildness. I had to read this like four times because I was, thought that was just a funny phrase, like how wild do you want your grass? But that's just gonna go back to the power button, how it looks more like weeds, more just natural. All right, you can also come over here and have these different types. You can try edit the different ones. You can do different flowers, different leaves, different stones in the grass. So let's go ahead and click on one. So that's just gonna change some of the flowers over in here. Um, and then you can also, for these different ones, change the spread, the size, and then random size as well. And that is all I have for the sun settings and the grass settings. So thank you for watching.